Hello, friends. I am Drippy. You know that rain makes the grass green and it makes your garden grow. Hmm. Have you ever wondered what makes rain, though? Let's learn how does rain form. First, we will need the sun. So, here is the sun. When the sun shines, the heat of the sun warms the water, turning it into an invisible gas called water vapor. This process, the changing of water into a gas, is called evaporation. Because gas is lighter than liquids, water vapor rises up into the sky, and they further move up into the way from Earth's surface due to the temperature of gas. So, in the sky, the water vapor cools and changes back into tiny water droplets. This change of water vapor into water droplets is called condensation, and it's the opposite of evaporation. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets, so when condensation occurs in the sky, clouds form and grow. Let's see it from a closer perspective. The droplets bang together and form even bigger drops. When the drops get heavy, they fall because of gravity. They even grow and bump into one another on their journey from the cloud to the ground, and every single raindrop that reaches the ground is made of one million of the original tiny water droplets. Raindrops fall on the ground's surface when the sun can shine on them and the whole process happens again. This whole process is called a water cycle and keeps the water moving from the ground to the sky fulfilling the water needs of the plants, animals, and people to survive. So, now you know how do raindrops form and fall. Let's summarize this. Steps of water cycle. Evaporation. The changing of water into a gas is called evaporation. Condensation. The changing of water vapor into water droplets is called condensation. Precipitation. Water falls from the sky in the form of rain, snow, or hail. This process is called precipitation. Collection. Oceans and lakes collect water that has fallen. Water evaporates into the sky again and the cycle continues. Stay tuned by subscribing to us for more cool videos.